Lamb. I just, I just want to make sure you're all right. See them Strabant tax jabers that run you over in the street. <laughs> Ow! Oh, sorry, wrong. <laughs> that wrong one. <laughs> oh, Aladdin, don't awe me, neither. Look what happened to your grandmother when she had that slice of Asa coffee. Mrs. Twanky, Mrs. Twanky, you've got to help me, ah! please. She's going to get me. Nor I. But if he says he's going to take me there, oh, princess, how can I refuse? 
I cannot wait for the day we'll be married. And I feel the same. But for now, you must go. My father will be here any moment. Don't. And if he catches us talking again, don't worry. At the first sign of his approach, I'll be off like a shot. Princess! Princess! Your royal father! Oh, oh. So, you're at it again, are you? This time I won't cut your head off. This time I'll chop your body off. <laughs> Guard, seize him! Stop! Look at that I command you to freeze! Abanazar, you've saved my life, but what are you doing here? Foolish boy! With the aid of my magic powers, I watched you from afar. When I saw you were in trouble, I hurried to save you. Now come! But what with the princess and everyone else? They look like Madame Tussard's waxworks. More like a meeting of Strabane District Council. How <laughs> long will they stay like that? A few moments only. Now hurry, return home. Bid farewell to your mother. We oh. leave for the mountains at once. Uncle, you don't know how happy you've made me. But this time tomorrow, I'll have enough money to marry the princess. By this time tomorrow, you'll be dead. Decidedly rich. Now hurry, or it'll be too late. Now? I don't know if you can hear me or not. But don't worry, I'll be back tomorrow. You little fool. You'll never return to Peking. Your bones will rot beneath the ground until the end of time, whilst I, Abanaza, take my rightful place as master of the universe. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Princesses do not have 
Thank you. 